Welcome to DP Tutorials by Don Jarwa. Now we will be interacting on one important topic from electrostatics, which is the principle of superposition or superposition principle. This principle it is basically related to a system of charges, which means that a system of charges consisting more than two charges. That means over here you can consider uh, many charges more than two. And, uh, before we move on into the statement of this superposition principle, over here we have a system of four charges Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Q3 is what is known as the given charge. Whereas Q1, Q2 and Q4 are the other charges. Now over here, we will apply Coulomb's law in order to find out what is the total force exerted on Q3 due to the other charges. Yeah, let me repeat. Superposition principle uh, helps you to find what is the total force on the given charge Q3 due to the other charges Q1, Q2 and Q4. Now, when we have uh, these system of charges, that means when we apply Coulomb's law, Coulomb's law, we can find out what is the force of interaction between Q1 and Q3, force of interaction between Q2 and Q3, force of interaction between Q4 and Q3, and so on and so forth. Now, over here, we have already dealt with Coulomb's law of electrostatics with clear emphasis that the formula for this force is given by this expression F for uh, force between Q1 and Q3 it is given by F31 1 by 4 pi epsilon 1 Q3 Q1 divided by R31 whole square but over here when we are dealing with this expression when we are dealing with this expression remember that uh, the force of interaction will be governed by this. Suppose when you look at this diagram, yeah, when you look at this diagram, Q1 is one charge and Q3 is also another charge. Now, we know that there will be position vectors. There will be position vectors from Q1 to Q4. Or from Q1 to Q3, sorry. Now, uh, this position vector, this, uh, I, uh, not position vector, I mean unit vector. This unit vector from Q1 to Q3 is R13 cap. Yeah, it is R13 cap. Similarly, in this direction, that means it will be R31 cap. So now, see the unit vector pointing from charge Q4 to Q3. This will be unit vector, uh, unit vector R43 cap. R43 cap. R43 cap. Similarly, the unit vector pointing from charge Q2 to Q3, this will be unit vector R2, 3, cap. And if you want to find the unit vector from Q3 to Q4, from Q3, or from Q3 to Q2, it is given in this direction. That will be from Q3 to Q3. You have to write over here R32, cap. Likewise, all those will be governed. I will not write all those directions in order to find unit vector from Q3 to Q4 will be in this direction, will be in this direction. And this you have to write what? R34, yeah. It's just the opposite of R43. So likewise, uh, you will uh, understand about all those details. But over here, since we want to find the net force on Q3, we will uh, express in this form the unit vector from Q1 to Q3 is R13 cam, unit vector from Q2 to Q3, R32, uh, R32 cam, 
and the unit vector from q4 to q3 is r4 theta now simultaneously that means these all these uh, arrows which i have done over here these represent forces these represent forces so if you look if you look with respect to q1 and q3 which that means this is the line this is the line joining between q1 and q3 this is the line joining between q1 and q3 so this uh, uh, red arrow mark indicates the direction of the Coulomb's uh, force okay? Coulomb's force now this Coulomb's force will be given by F force on 3 due to the interaction from 1 similarly on Q3 due to Q4 this will be force F F1, F3, 4. And similarly for Q3, this is Q2, that means this will be F, F1, F3, 3. So these are one. These are the force of interaction. Force of interaction of all the other charges. Of all the other charges. When I say all the other charges, means Q1. Q4 and Q2 on this given charge Q3. So now uh, we likewise over here also you can find out in this direction this will be force 1, force on charge 1, force on charge Q4 due to Q3. That is where this is F34, this is F43. And over here also you can uh, redo like that. That means this will be what? This will be force. On charge Q2 due to 1, due to Q3. So these are 1, these are directions. But we don't need, we don't need this, uh, we don't need this F43, we don't need this F23 because we require only the force on the given charge, which is Q3. That is why over here, this uh, functions, F, it is given as what? F32, F34, F31. So this is the order. So from here F31. Now we will uh, remove all those which we have written. Now when you look at uh, this, when you look at this expression of F31, uh, when you look at this expression of F31, uh, you will find out that uh, this is in expression one. This is expression vector form. So F31. Where is the force F31? This is the force F31. F31 is given by this arrow mark. That means force on 3 due to Q1. So force on 3 due to Q1, F31, force on 3 due to Q1 is given by what? By this unit vector R13 cap. So you have to write here R13 cap. Now similarly for F32, where is F32? F32 is in this direction. So where what will be the direction of F32? What will be the direction of F32? The direction of F32 will be R23 cap. So you have to write here R23 cap. And 34. 34 will be what? 34, the unit vector will be R43. So you have to write here R43 cap. So that is the way. So now we will find out uh, since uh, what are the forces? On Q3, the forces on Q3 due to all these uh, other forces will be the net force on Q3 will be uh, F31 plus F32 plus F34. So we will write over here the net force will be the net force will be F31 plus F32 plus 1 F F1. So don't forget to put the vector notation because force is a vector quantity. Force is a vector quantity. Now over here, since 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common, and even q3, q3, and q3 is common, we will take this expression common outside. So we will take q3 common, and over here this will be 1 by 4 pi 
epsilon naught. And the terms within the bracket, the terms within the bracket will be what? Will be q1 divided by r q1 whole square. And the unit vector you have to write r13. R13, yeah. R13, yeah. R13, yeah. Plus 1 will be the second one. Q2 divided by R32, yeah. R32 square, I mean. And this will be from unit vector P3. And simultaneously over here, this will be what? R24 divided by R24 whole thing square. And this will be R43. Yeah. So this is that expression. Now, uh, we can uh, rewrite this expression. This is that force. And over here, we can introduce the summation sign. We can introduce the summation sign, or we can write in a general form. In a general form, in a general form, again, I will uh, uh, rewrite in this form. We have to introduce the summation sign. We have to introduce the summation sign. And when we introduce the summation sign, when we introduce the summation sign, that means this will be, uh, we will take values of i. And we will take values of g. Now over here, you have seen that three, three, and three is common. So we will take this i, which is meant for uh, this, which is meant for what? Uh, i equal to three, meaning for this charge of p three. I equal to three since it is common. And this g starts from one, then two, then you have four, and so on and so forth. So we have i so for i going from one. Okay, i going from one. I going from one, but not equal to three. I going from one up to one. Up to suppose that there are n particles. Then over here we have to write this as one. This will be q. Q one. This is three. Three will be one. Q i. We have to write q. And over here, this is 1, this is 2, over here, this will be 4. So, this it will take the value of g. We write here g. Okay. We write there g. We write there g. And over here, you have to write that square distance, which is in i is uh, this 3i, this 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, this will be what? r i g. And with the square, and you have to also write that R cam, R cam, R cam, G, and this will be one I, G and I. Yeah. So this will be the expression of this will be the expression. This will be the expression for the total force exerted on Q three. D to the other charges to one, P two and P four. Now this expression is important, and also uh, you have to uh, remember that uh, we can uh, write, okay? we can write that expression in another form also, in another form also. Now see, now we have uh, laid an emphasis that that force, okay? uh, that force. On the charge Q3 is given by 1, is given by 1 by 4 pi, okay, 1 by 4 pi upside down 1. That means we have put that summation sign i equal to and this g will be equal to 1, it goes up to n, and this will be summation of r. Oh, no, 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 not r, it is q. Ui, Uj. And then we have R 
ig and then we have this r g i k so this is that expression but there is one formula this is one way of writing i have marked let me mark this as equation number one we, we can rewrite this that means this will be the expression for the force in terms of what in terms of in terms of unit vectors in terms of the corresponding unit vectors so this will be in terms in terms of the unit vectors in terms of the union vectors now we know one expression yeah? we know one expression whereby we can uh, find out yeah? we can find out or we can write this force f3 in terms of the pv how will you write force f3 in terms of pv we I have learned in vector algebra yeah, we have learned in vector algebra that we know that this r cap the definition of unit vector is what r cap is what it is r bar divided by modulus of r when i say mod of r bar it's simply it is equal to one it is r bar divided by this is the definition of the unit vector. Incorporating this formula of R cap on equation 1, we can write equation 1 in another format. So let us write this will be F3 and over here that is your equal sign. F3 equal 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Then you have um, that summation sign. Addition sign i equal 3 g equal to 1 to n and over here c this is um, this is q i this will be q j q i q j and this will be r i j and don't forget to write the square don't forget to write the square and over here we will use that formula this is rgi cap so using that expression from this uh, relation of unit vector in terms of pv we can write this rj cap we can write this rj cap by using this formula that means over here this will be one this will be <coughs> r r <coughs> j i bar and this is, since it is in uh, it is in uh, modulus or we are taking the magnitude we can write simply r i j we can simply write r i j if you multiply this expression that means finally it will reduce to this simple expression okay, it will reduce to the simple expression of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught you have to, have to rewrite that expression again j equal 3 then i j uh, i i equal to 3 j equal to 1 up to n and over here that means this will be q i q j ui uj divided now c this is rij square and this is rij to the power one so you will have rij to the power three and with its respective pv which is rj rj so this will be another form of one another form of the expression for equation number one equation number one can be rewritten equation one and equation uh, two are the same the only difference is that in equation one in this equation one 
okay, in that equation one, uh, in that equation one, it is expressed in terms of the unit vectors, and in this equation two, in that equation two, it is expressed in terms of one. This will be in terms of PD. Equation two is in terms. Equation two is in terms of P B. Equation two is in terms of P B. Equation two is in terms of P B. So, thank you.